come back yeah, in again? Um, my understanding, and this is watching the NRL, is that if the commission fell, say that they weren't as fair as voting, they, if it's at a certain point, and I don't know what that point is, in, legis or in the directive, that it sort of comes in again as where it was at to go start negotiating again. That's my understanding on, on the directive. Um, in relation to, um, does, you, you stated there that the different member states set, have set out their, <coughs> basically their concerns or their pros and cons on it. What have we set out from the Department <coughs> of Climate Action on it? Um, so we've we've kind of we've welcomed the as I said the change from the kind of binary healthy unhealthy to the good moderate and poor and that was a proposal that um, we supported and kind of at the early stages we have um, some concerns around how the um, the cost of the you know how it will be financed and all that so there's concerns around that what do you mean by that explain the finance part so who's going to how it's going to be all paid for you know in, the, there's a, in article 7 17 uh, sets out the union financing mechanism of it without much detail so we'd like further details in relation. Uh, it, yeah but can you just explain that to me now i'm sorry for for one in that but can you explain that that <coughs> is it obviously Four million hectares in Ireland is owned by private individuals. Um, are you saying that there will be that there's money required and that it will be compulsory? Well, it'll cost money to carry out all this sampling and, and analysis. The sampling part and analysis. That yeah, but for for improving, if you if you if you have to try and improve soil quality, um, who pays for that, and is it voluntary? This is, you know, like, the state doesn't own the land of Ireland, the farmers own it. Yeah, that's that's correct. It's privately owned land. Privately owned land. Yeah. But the so will this directive be applicable to the privately owned land? The directive sits, is, as I said previously, the sampling is carried out at the on a range of sampling points across the, the member state. Just one second now. I, I, I kind of get this into me head. How will you sample, if you're going in saying to a farmer, I'm sampling the land now to look at your soil quality and this could be detrimental for you down the road, he'll show you the gate. Will you explain to me, so, is so it voluntary sample? that a farmer, is it going to explain to farmers now that they're coming in to look at your land and can you say to them, no, I don't want you in here to do that? Can the farmers of Ireland do that and you won't have any sample in four million hectares? Well, if, if, there, if their sampling requ is required by their, by their directive, which will come into force by uh, national legislation, it'll, it'll, you know, we'll have to work out how, we, how, how the samples are carried out. But I'd like to just go back to the point of, you know, the sampling is done at a range of things. That's at member state. That information is provided. It's not that individual farmer or where that sample is taken has to do certain things and nobody else has to do anything. It's that those samples identify the issues in relation to the soils in Ireland, if there is any, and sustainable management practices are promoted within Ireland to try and address those issues that are identified through the national sampling program, okay? And then we'll sample again in a number of years, again on a range of sample points across the country. At the, currently it's stating that that should be done every five years, that might be changed, and there'll be a measure of whether we've improved or not. And if we haven't improved, then further measures will have to be promoted to try and promote sustainable soil management. In and is there fines then, uh, like the Habitats Directive, if you don't, bring it to favourable status and if you don't have a management plan, if you don't have X, Y and Z? There, well, like, there is, there's, there's penalties, there's penalties proposed proposed. If, if things are, but there's, again, as I said, that's 
there's a lot of discussion around those and things, and we're at a very early stage in this. It's a direct. Where are we? When you say we're there, it's a, but, but, but like everything is being still discussed, discussed. at member state. Uh, by is this is are we at a first draft? Are we at a second draft? Or where are we at? Well, we we had a we've had the, the directive that was published, and <coughs> now we've had, as Niall said earlier, we've had a revision one of it, which was mm. discussed last just let this week was the first time it was discussed. And, and where, in your experience of going through all this rigmarole that Europe does, um, how many, or how long do you reckon it'll take? A year, six months, five months, nine months, ten months? As I, as I said earlier, it's the, the, the Belgian presidency has set out that there'll be two meetings a month between now and May, and their hope is that it will be coming to a that we have a, some level of agreement on the directive at that stage, but I can't anticipate that, and that's this, you know, that's this. Yeah, we, we ju this we ju we're just not privy to what, uh, you know, member states have, have sent in for, in terms of the, for um Do we know what we put in? We do know what right. we have put in, but, we, but, but we're not finished yet, because, like, we have put, we have sent back a number of comments in relation to, 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 to some of the tests and some of the, the texts and, and, and wording in the texts, but we, we will get another chance again. And, and, and we'll hope we'll, there'll probably be another uh, revision sent around again sometime in February, and we will get another chance to go through that again and, and, and make our concerns known. Some of them were raised during the meeting on Monday by member states that had an opportunity, and some other, <coughs> like member states, then just raised one or two issues, but said we have many more in our, uh, you know, in our in, in in our comments back to the to the presidency. So they will all have to be to to, to be looked at. But like the, in relation to the time frame, it, it it it, I would have to say like this has come up a lot with. Uh, during the meeting in terms of the five-year time frame, many uh, member states felt that that wasn't sufficient because in terms of the reporting after five years, because many of these tests in terms of soil carbon or, 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 or bulk density or something like this, you won't see a change in that period of time. Yeah. So look, at that's been put forward. Many of them have asked to be pushed out to seven and ten years, but we won't know until we get the next text. Do you know what I mean? Like, so so uh, while this is ambitious, but many member states like do understand, and, and it's quite technical, the tests that have to be carried out, but uh, that's why we are liaising with our colleagues that have you know, the more expertise than this than 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 than, than, than us. Uh, and who is who is more expertise? Well, our colleagues in Chagas and, 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 and uh, who, 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 are, who, are, who are sampling, you know, continuously working with with soils and uh, have uh, a long-standing history of soil sampling and soil tests. And like a lot of these tests are straightforward tests to be carried out, and we have. As I say, a history of uh, of doing these tests, and and and, and we won't be afraid of. Yeah, of I wouldn't many be of these afraid tests. of. I wouldn't be afraid of, say, ordinary side. Right? I have no fear of ordinary side. You know, yeah, they might they'll be watching in P's and K's, and uh, but we'll say that land would be fairly okay. But I would be frightened of the listos of this world and the. Offleys of this world, where the peachy soil is, that's where that's where my big concern would be. And unless that there is cushions put in there for Ireland, um, we're going to sell our farmers down the, the Swanee in those areas because you you said ten centimetres or whatever. If it's bog, it's bog. If it's peach, it's peach. Uh, like I'm dealing with land long enough, and if you're sure it you'll see, when you go down below the grass, you'll see that it's, you know, there's no point in, say, but it's farming and it's keeping farms sustainable. And my fear is that we're leaving a cohort to the country from Donegal, the same as the nature restoration law. You nearly have, you have the habitat directive of the nature restoration law, this side thing, and it's nearly like three Jolians just to leave and coming at you, two, three winds coming at you. That's, um, going to be detrimental it's not now and it's not it's not in five years time or ten years time like 
it's, it's what we sign up to now will hit us. And someone will say, well, how did that happen? And they'll say, well, she's over the debate now one day. And, and, and then it came forward. Now, if, can ye get it pushed out altogether to after May, that will be after this parliament is over? Because hopefully there might be different politicians in the next time. Europe? No. No, I never no, said no. that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, gentlemen, apologies. I, I might be good, Tim, but I don't make up seven other and five uh, elected MEPs now. In fairness. Is there is there any way, like in in your opinion, is there a lot of, is there a lot of countries and a lot of clarifications that you cannot see it being wrapped up? Uh, yeah, I, and I, then I can't really speculate. Am I right in saying it has to go into Environment Committee, and it and has it to go to Ag Committee. I'm, I'm, not, I'm sure. not sure of the it's probably process. Environment to be like the Nature Restoration, even yeah. though it's affecting, and then to have to go to Council of Ministers, and to have to go yes, to. It will have to go to. And in my opinion, if you're still negotiating it in the May, like the MEP will be gone for the hills in June. In June, yeah. Actually, as we were saying, we're we're. It's all this stuff that's coming from Europe. We're not having a go at year end, and don't go thinking no. that. But the sickdom part that I find is that climate action, environment, and climate action in our department is handling so much stuff that you, the Department of Agriculture, are basically answering questions to us. But in fairness, you're not directly the the line managers of the different directives, and it's the same with the nature restoration. But the facts are that the, the decisions made by climate action and environment uh, is going to actually, it's, it's agriculture that has to be the big bad wolves in telling farmers what they have to do. And it's going to be farmers' private property that is going to be impeded with the nature restoration law and this as well. And hopefully this will die a death that won't appear before the June elections. We do work closely with our colleagues in the other government departments and we have good working relationships with them. Yeah, but the only problem is that they have the consequences of working with farmers. They don't. They're like Nancy Griffiths from a distance. Thank you, uh, Deputy Fitzgerald.